recipe if you want. If you want to try to take them on, feel free. Um, there's very few ways to do it, though. When Faye and the others arrived at the deepest part of Mahanon, I was looking after the newly mutating people in Nissan. People mutating one after the other. Hmm. She sounds very disappointed. Like some eternal nightmare that made me wonder just how long we would have to keep on nurf nursing them. Forever. I have no idea. Are you okay? You haven't had any rest, have you? I can handle things on my own for a while. Why don't you go out for a walk? Thank you, but I'll be alright. I'd rather keep busy so I won't worry about things too much. Is that it? Hey, Ellie, what's that? This? Can I see it? Just as I thought, it's the pendant of Nissan. But why do you have it, Ellie? It's face. I'm holding on to it for him. But it feels as if I've always worn it. Hmm. When you wear that, you look even more like Sophia. Really? <laughs> Flattery won't get you anything, you know. Anyway, we need to hurry up and test the new mutation suppressant assembler on those other people there. We can't afford to have them change any further. Ah. Oh, damn, this thing. And it shot off into space! What the hell? Oh no! Something has happened to Faye and the others! She runs outside! Overcome by indescribable fear, I decided... I decided ascend? I decided to ascend to Shavat, which was stationed in the skies above Nissan. Awaiting me there was a transmission from Krellian. He told me that if I wanted to save Faye and the others, I would have to come to Golgotha. Krellian wanted me. In order to save Faye and my other friends, I departed, and the last army gear left remained in Shavat. My previous fear of writing this machine was surmounted by my desire to rescue the people dear to me. Are you serious about going it alone? Krillian told me to come by myself. I can't afford to break the agreement. So please, stay behind and protect everyone here. But it's a trap! I know. Then why? If I do not go, Faye and them will be executed for sure. Krillian isn't concerned with anyone else but me. So it makes you think he's going to hold his part of the bargain. Do you have any way of knowing that you will definitely save your friends by doing this? No. Then it's suicide! It might be. But I've made it this far because of Faye and the others. Because they accepted me as their friend. If you go away, what about us? What about all the people who have assembled Nissan that you will leave behind? Everyone's paying on you for their spiritual support. The people in Nissan will be fine. They can stand on their own feet without using any support from me. This is also true of you all, right? But why do you do so much for him? I don't know. I guess it's a woman's prerogative to be selfish. Perhaps. A woman's prerogative? I'm not a holy woman of any sort. Just a regular woman, meaning I had sex with him. I get angry, I cry, I laugh. Although at times I can resent others, I also know how to love others, loving whole masses of people at times, and loving just one person the rest of the time. I am in supreme bliss when I am embraced by the man that I love. Giving what I have to him and receiving what he gives me, we become one flesh. That is the moment when I am most at peace. It is my prerogative as a woman to simply want to save the man that I love. Boss. I'm sorry. 
for saying such selfish things. I'll go and do all that I can do for my friends. So I want you all to do whatever it is you can do for our friends here. Well, I had better get going now. Ellie likes the sex. The hell? Is that Ellie's new gear? Looks like it should be. An upgraded Vierge? That's what it looks like to me. Vierge went Super Saiyan, apparently. Got the spiky hair and everything. I don't know what we're looking at here, but... Holy crap! All the gears are on crucifixes. If there was no Christianity metaphor before, here you go. All the gears, including the whole freaking juju, up on these capital T's, crucifixes, crosses, whatever you want to call them, they're up on them. You only see four, though. I, I think it just can be assumed that the rest are up there, too. You know, I'm sure... No, maybe it's just the four. We'll have to see what they say. If they say anything. They might not address it at all, like, what? Yeah, we just made a Jesus parallel. What are you gonna do about it? Are they inside? Are they somewhere else? What's going on? Now, if you guys didn't know, Golgotha is the, the hill where Jesus was crucified. This is Golgotha, though, so who knows. At least they're not inside, and yeah, it looks like it's just the four. What the hell's going on? Where are the other ones? Ellie? You idiot! Why did you come here? Krillian's after you. Forget about us! Run and save yourself! I came as I was told. I'm the only one you need. They have nothing to do with this, so let Faye and the others go. How gallant you are, Elohim. It's as if that scene from the past has been brought back to life in the present. So you came in an Omni Gear. That too is her gear. Hmm. Allow me to confirm something. What? What's going on? I'll consider what kind of treatment your friends will receive. Not on one condition. That you first defeat these two men here with that gear you came in. How about it, Al Haim? Forget it, Ellie. He's up to something. Don't accept it. Faye is right. Krellian is not a man of his word. And he always has ulterior motives He, when he sweet-talks someone. What is more, those men are fighting machines created by Krellian. Their combat skills are immeasurable. They are not opponents you can handle by yourself. Do not take him up on his offer. Escape while you can. My, my. Such harsh criticism. I am not that brutal. So, what will it be, Elaim? Even if you were to try to flee now, it is not likely you would be able to. You see, I have this whole area surrounded by my guards. Wouldn't it be logical to take the choice where you may still stand a chance? No matter how slight it may be. Don't do it, Ellie. Alright then, I'll do what you say. Good. You are indeed my precious little bird. Now, get on with it. Do I have to fight these? Like, seriously? If it gets Faye and them even the slightest chance of escape, then I will fight. I don't care if it even costs me my life. They're too fast! And looks like she's already in yellow health. Possibly in red. Outmatched. Even in my Omni Gear. But I can't just. No, not like this. I can't lose! She regains health somehow. 
kick it in the crotch. Come on, you can do it, eh? Must somehow stop movement. And down goes one of them. Stopped? Now's my chance. Ah! Oh, what the hell? She summoned meteors. Asteroids. Depending on which game you want to reference. And then they flew away? Down goes the other one. Did I do it? Yes, yes, you did. You kicked their ass. Oh, no, you didn't. How could that? I thought it had some sort of effect. Girl, that hurt. I'll get you back. It was wrong of you to underestimate our power. Use air rods! Do you still have air rods? Damn, they're getting like two, three turns in before she even gets her next turn. That is bullshit. Gah. Gah. <sighs> hmm. I'm getting no results. It can't be helped, Mugwort. It's about time to finish the job. They're coming again! And they're gonna slice and dice her until she is gone! There's nothing we can do about it! And down she goes. She couldn't do it. She just couldn't do it. Down yet! It's to be expected. Multiple fractures, major blood loss. I wouldn't be surprised if the cockpit is a sea of blood. At worst, a death. <laughs> oh, snap. What the? There's no way you could stand after taking that much damage. What the hell? <laughs> Mugwort? Why, you? How dare you do that to my partner? She, like, thought about it and he disintegrated. Holy crap, she fired her laser. She did it again! Gatling gun! Was it Gatling gun? No. Ah, oh, it's been a while since it's Dragon Ball Z. Whatever Vegeta's move was. That's what it looked like. Whatever. She did it! They disappeared into nothingness. And now she's on her knees. I did it. I am awesome. No. So, did it, is everybody free? D did we, did we save the world? Did Ellie save the world, or? Or are we just still in over our heads? I mean... There's no way we could defeat Garof. It's time for monologue scenes. Of course it is. Nope, dialogue. But told her in a monologue format. No way. Ellie. Her true awakening. Or just merely protecting her master. Either way, it does not alter the fact that she is the mother existence that I have been searching for. Now men, recover that machine. Place priority on the safety of the pilot. Use whatever it takes to preserve her life. So at least he doesn't want to kill her. Well then, I shall be taking this girl with me. As for the rest of you, why don't you just wallow there pathetically while you meditate on your own lack of any real power. <sighs> what a dick. What do you want, Groff? Pitiful. You can't even protect a single woman. It is not even worth the effort of putting a spineless wretch like you out of your misery. 
Damn. These guys are just as harsh as Kazelt Ministry was towards, uh, towards Ramses. Ellie was taken away. And, as Krillin had told her, we were left alive. Is Krillin just keeping his promise? No, that can't be it. There had to be s another real reason why he allowed us to live. What was it? And we had to find that out. Yeah, we do. Why do he let you live? Save current data? Yes, I will. And that means it's going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Xenogears. I have been Bala Scuba. I hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.